hello and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am filming this for the second time well i didn't really film the whole video but i had a nightmare last week so i'm back to film or finish filming well I'll film it because i'll just shut up i thought i would grab some breakfast and head to tim hortons and answer some questions have a catch up with you guys i feel like i've got lots to catch you up on i'm at the drive through now so let's get this over and done with Hiya. Can I get the bacon and egg muffin stack meal, please? What drink? Um, can I get a caramel latte? Medium or large? Medium, please. I filmed this video last week and I had the bacon bagel and it literally had about, I don't even think it had a full bit of bacon in it. And my dad said he had had it and it was the same. So I didn't want to get that. Then I saw that they did a muffin, but the muffins are so small. So I got the stack one because that comes with a hash brown and I wanted a hash brown on the side. Anyway, before I go on any further with the video, I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. So let me just quickly tell you, I came here last week, I got the food, I started eating it, intro the video, went on Instagram and my Instagram was down. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. And you, bye. Okay, so where was I at in this story? Please remind me. Oh yeah, so then Instagram was down so I couldn't get the questions up and I literally sat in my car for an hour and then I was going out to meet my dad. So I had to go and meet him and then by the time I come out, it had loaded by that point, but I'd been around Ikea. So yeah, I just had to scrap that video. I print screen questions last night so that nothing could go wrong. I'm absolutely ravenous. <laughs> never had their muffin it's teeny look at that that actually looks quite good probably better to be on the small side eh? i've also got an extra hash brown even though i'm not a massive lover of the hash browns but you know okay let's answer the first question because i'm now currently in it what new car have i got obviously before i had my ld a1 which is a three-door car not practical when you've got a baby so now i've got a five-door car and i'm in an automatic and i've only driven in it three times and i do love it but also i got so used to the manual i didn't even really think about changing gears i guess i'll notice it more when i'm doing like longer drives so yeah i've now got a t-rock i can fit a car seat and a pram and everything else has got a big boot i'm higher up there's more space i've got parking sensors guys i need parking sensors because i mean i've only ever crashed my car once well not crashed it but i hit something once and it was the only time i reverse park hence why i never reverse park and i know i did then but there's like no one around and i'm probably not in the lines but it doesn't matter because i'm in an empty car park but yeah that's the update that's why i was flapping a bit and opening all the wrong windows because i'm just not used to it yet a few questions on how i've been i kind of have got a lot to update you on kind of haven't but i haven't been very well and i really feel like i'm going through the motions in the third trimester i feel like i was very lucky the whole of my pregnancy i have already spoke about this i haven't gone into detail because it's no one's business it's my health and whatever i am now high risk and consultant led so i have to have lots of hospital appointments and a few days before each hospital appointment i have to go and get my blood done and then also i have my midwife appointments and then yesterday on my consultant appointment my bump is measuring well in front when last week it was measuring perfectly fine so now i've got to go for a growth scan i've also been given antibiotics because i have a urine infection and i also spoke about back pain that back pain went and i was starting to feel really good again a few days ago i all of a sudden was like oh my god i constantly need a wee like it was unbearable and then i started getting pains and if you've ever had a uti or whatever you know that pain like in your kidneys and i was like oh for god's sakes yeah i've just not been feeling so great and because i've just not been feeling great i don't want to film and that's the thing i'm not going to force myself to film because it comes across in the videos and then last week i got up early i did all my makeup i was ready to go get the questions out can't load them and i was like for god's sake so that's why i missed videos last week hopefully i'll be back on track for two videos but i'm not promising anything and i'm definitely not putting pressure on myself there was a few questions like oh are you not bothered about youtube anymore it's like i'm fucking pregnant in my office 
this job I can just sit there and get on with it I don't have to pretend to be upbeat or feeling good or anything with YouTube I'm not going to force myself to film if I don't feel good yeah that's a little kind of health update or what's going on with me at the moment because that's literally all that's going on I think I've got something like 13 appointments now or more including my midwife ones this is now getting cold what shampoo do I use I use the body shop what the hell is it called sorry that's it the ginger range <laughs> i don't know what's happening with that though because hasn't the body shop gone into administration oh my goodness that's the point i'm running low i need to go and stock up do i have any holidays planned and the simple answer to that is no <laughs> i've got one of my friend's hindus in september and of course i was going to go on that and then i found out i was pregnant i've said i'm going to see because it's not far after i'm giving birth my baby's still going to be only four months at the time and i just don't know how i'm going to feel so i'm going to wait to see how i feel closer to the time if i feel up to it because it's not just that it's like my body's gonna look completely different none of my summer clothes will fit me i'll be on maternity pay there's just so much to think about i will hopefully still be exclusively breastfeeding so we shall see obviously we'd love to take our son away quite not early but everyone says it's so lovely to take them away before they're crawling and things like that we would love to do that but again i don't know where we'll be with money because hopefully we'll be moving so holidays aren't really a priority but the short answer to that is no i had so many holiday questions i think it was because i put up a picture of a beach what was my favorite holiday destination croatia was definitely up there havar crack off love that really want to go back they're more like city breaks i also feel like the opinions you have on a holiday are based on the experience that you had rather than the actual destination if that makes sense I'd really love to do another weekend away in Dublin. I've been to Dublin three times. Each person that I went to Dublin with is not in my life anymore. So therefore I feel like, is it a curse? Such a weird way to think. Does anyone else think like that? To me, that's logical. To me, that is like, oh, Dublin must have a curse. So I don't want to go with someone and then they're not in my life anymore. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> what would I do if I won the lottery? Final bite sorry i wanted to hurry up and eat that then because the ketchup being around me was stressing me out right what would i do i'm gonna answer the question as if i wasn't pregnant because i always say the first thing i'd do if i won the lottery straight away would be to book a holiday i'd be like right we're going tomorrow i'd buy myself a few handbags and then i'd buy a house and then i'd invest the rest do you ever get fed up with being an adult this is a great question because absolutely there's just always so much to think about there's always a new bill to pay especially if you're like me and you're a bit of a warrior i'm always thinking about money saving money must save must have savings sometimes i probably live a little less than what i can because i'm a warrior but yeah life as an adult is not fun how did you cope from living alone to having your boyfriend move in that is an adjustment and a half especially because i'm such a silent person like i hate background noise i never have my tv on i would never just put the tv on and get on with the cleaning or something the only thing i like to do is listen to podcasts yeah i just don't like noise and sometimes i'm just really not in the mood to speak and my boyfriend is very like bah, 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 bah. and i'm just like do you know what can i just have five minutes to myself please because i can't be bothered to have a conversation sometimes yeah i could be with someone and we'll be in full conversation and then out of nowhere i'll be like i can't i literally can't be bothered to come say anymore so being by myself to him moving in was definitely a big adjustment but then there's so many pros to living with someone just like the safety element having someone to talk to and catch up with every day and also because my job is very isolating both my jobs because i work from home most times very isolating so it's definitely nice to have company because i probably would go a bit stir crazy oh my god i'm getting hot what's your plan with work when you return from maternity leave well i already work two days a week so i don't need to worry about going back and asking for more time off i will be happy to go back on my two days a week so nothing will change depending on how my youtube goes actually because god knows god knows how i'm gonna adjust to being a mum and filming myself because look listen guys i'm not like other influencers not that i even class myself but you know what i mean other people that do youtube i can't have my camera out all the time i can't film everything i have every intention to and then i just get overwhelmed i want to be in the moment 
I... That's not necessary, is it? You fucking loser. You're literally a delivery truck driver picking up a car and you're revving the car around the car park. You're embarrassing. It's not even your car. What was I saying? I know there's so many things that I could film as part of my pregnancy or whatever that people love to see, but that's just not me and I feel like I don't know how I will adjust to, you know, wanting to spend time with my child and then like wanting to film, but we'll see. We're all on this ride together. Of course, I will update you all along the way. But in other news, I'll definitely go down to one video a week at some point. And then I will have a break once I give birth for sure. It's my maternity leave, essentially. Although I'll be making no money, I don't care. I need help. How do you go out there and meet someone today? I always think, oh yeah, I've met most of my dates off of like Tinder and Hinge and stuff. But I actually haven't. My first boyfriend, we worked together. And we were definitely friends first. And then we you know my second boyfriend which is now my current boyfriend we met on tinder that was a online dating situation and then my third boyfriend we met in a pub so yeah i feel like i've met people in the normal way that most people would say you'd meet people work online and in a social setting so i think just be open to meeting anyone anywhere <laughs> How are you feeling about becoming a mum? Well, it's all getting very real now. All the things that we've been like planning throughout the pregnancy. Oh, we've got the baby shower, get a new car, start antenatal classes, like all the different things that we've been milestone in or like counting down to have now all happened. The only thing that we now need to do is like the washing of his clothes, getting a wardrobe, building his cot. That's it, building the snooze pod. So it's all getting very real. I'm getting extremely overwhelmed, especially because I'm getting worried because of like pains in my body and stuff and the constant appointments. But also I am so excited. I can't wait. I just want to know what he looks like. I just want to see his little face. I just want to hug him. I want to smell him. I know how to get emotional at some point in this video. I, I can't watch or listen to anyone talk about giving birth without crying. I pray that I get to have a vaginal birth because i'm super excited for it i said this before that like oh i wonder if the closer i get the more worried i get but i'm not i'm getting excited for it like i want to give birth i want to experience it did you ever think back then that you would get back with your now boyfriend i wanted to answer this question right because someone that i follow on tiktok made this tiktok the other day and it was like if someone's not supposed to be in your life they will not be in your life so like if you've had an argument with them you've broken up with them whatever the situation is you just never see them again and even if you live close to them you still just never see them and it really got me thinking because with my other boyfriend that i was with i've never seen him again i don't think i will ever see him again i've never heard about him i don't nothing 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 and that is your sign that that was not meant to be with my now boyfriend when we broke up i don't even want to tell you the amount of times we bumped into each other in the weirdest circumstances on trains on platforms i think i told the story before about when my train got cancelled on a way to a date and if that train didn't get cancelled i wouldn't have seen him but i did my mum see him my brother see him my family members see him and when you think about it that's your sign that that person is still supposed to be in your life so at the time no but looking back on it yes what is one country you would love to travel to i really wanted to go like thailand and bali i know that you still can with a kid but realistically that's probably something that we'll do later in life. My boyfriend's already done all of that anyway. But yeah, he still really wants to go again. But yeah, I'd say that's probably up there. I do really want to go to New York. I have already been, but I was 21. So I feel like I really want to experience that again. How long have you known your closest friends? All of my friends I've known, apart from Jade, we met in 2019 but everyone else i've known for 10 plus years either from school or college or work me and emma met when we was we worked in primark together and we would have been 2019 if you were to receive a baby shower gift would you prefer a keepsake or clothes etc i think a happy medium because if you've got loads of keepsakes they're just keepsakes that stay in boxes and with a baby shower you do that before they're born so for me personally like keepsakes i would like them to be personalized like with their date of birth their name and things like that so if i was to go to a baby shower i would get practical things i'd probably get one piece of clothing but yeah i would pick practical things for someone because having a baby is expensive there's so much to buy oh my god where's that come from there is ketchup all over the steering wheel so is that on me because i've only just noticed that sorry this drink feels like it's too hot i haven't even had a sip hmm. 
that's fine what did i have last week oh yeah when i was filming last week i had french vanilla and it just wasn't nice i've had it before and it was lovely so i don't know what the hell happened do you regret not going to uni absolutely not i never wanted to go to uni and i'm so glad that i didn't and obviously everyone can do what they want to do it's your life and whatever makes you happy but for me personally to be paying back student debt to do another second in a learning environment i do not do well in learning environments i find it really hard to take information in i'm trying to take information in on sterilizing bottles at the moment it's literally going oop oop what did you do to focus on yourself when going through a breakup? Cry it out, then keep yourself busy. Then you need to get used to being on your own again, otherwise you're going to jump into another relationship. When you get past the initial heartbreak and you are happy to spend time on your own again, colouring, like colouring books, they pass hours. They are so good to keep your mind busy. I know it sounds stupid, but it's true going to the gym or going for walks finding a series that you love just thinking about what you enjoy when you're single you live the best life because you only have to think of yourself it's lovely right last question i tried not to answer too many baby questions because at first my whole box was baby and pregnancy questions so i posted on my story saying can people please go back and ask me some non-baby and pregnancy related questions and thank you to all of you who actually did because i had so many questions after that final question because my camera is going to cut off in four minutes will i be revealing my baby's name which i don't think i've ever heard of someone not doing but yes i will share my baby's name i probably won't share his full name his middle name and surname but you'll know his first name and by the way we still don't know his name we've got the two we've got the one name that we always said we was going to call him and then the new contender and we're going to wait to see what he looks like and i feel like that's why i'm so excited to see what his little face looks like because i just want to name him like i wish i could just refer to him as his name i do also love the fact that nobody actually knows exactly what he's going to be called so it's still more of a surprise even though everyone does know the top two names but you know anyway we finally did the video i feel like i can breathe again i also feel like i was in another world i feel like i've just spoken i don't even know what i've said but i'm gonna end the video here so i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next one